so finally i have got the mic and uh, yeah it's the first time you know i'm using it yesterday i could not shoot because bahut zyada awaz ho raha tha and uh, even though i have a mic but it's a lapel mic so itna zyada background ka noise is not going to get cancelled today i don't think so they are doing the work ya fir bahut hi kam awaz aa raha hai in our area like i have said ki uh, रोड का काम चल रहा है हमारे यहाँ पे दैट्स द रीज़न एंड ऑल्सो बिल्डिंग का काम भी चल रहा है सो टुडे बिल्डिंग का काम भी बंद है एंड या बट द क्रोज एज यूजल दे डोंट गिव अ फक एंड दे आर मेकिंग नॉइज एंड या आई एम नॉट वेरिंग एनी मेकअप बिकॉज कम ऑन इट्स अ संडे एंड आई वॉज रियली लाइक पता नहीं मेकअप करेंगे तो और ज़्यादा लेट हो जाएगा सो इट्स ऑलरेडी थ्री फोर्टी टू एज आई एम शूटिंग दिस वीडियो so uh, today i wanted to just do a chit chat video and um, aaj ka topic hai new years tag video jo ki maine nahi kiya usually i do it like at the beginning of january or at the end of december okay so yeah i don't think so much has changed in the last year but i would still try to answer these questions Hello everyone this is Kalyo Pal aka Kalpita Naidu and today I have got the new year tag video for 2020 so without wasting any time let's begin today's video all right so today I have got like a uh, these questions which are slightly different than last two years jo main new year tag video kar rahi thi so the first question is three words to describe last year quick because it was like bahut hi jaldi you know 2018 19 also like aise new chala gaya now just even like 2020 also jan is like just wishing away uh, so quick then uh, misunderstood and um, okay sh what was the most memorable moment for you of 2019 not much <laughs> i don't think so anything great really happened as usual so sorry to disappoint you but i can't really remember as a kuch memorable next question is what was your most played song of 2019 i think it was ariana grande's um, thank you next maybe did you take any trips in 2018 tell us about the most memorable ones and why well this was like one of my new year's resolutions to at least travel one place nearby i did not even like visit my sister in thane <laughs> she keeps coming here and honestly i just hate traveling there and uh, yeah so i did not really fulfill that resolution and i did not travel anywhere uh, not even in maharashtra not even to like visit any of my friends so yeah sad something you're looking forward to this coming year i am hoping that this will be my year <laughs> when it comes to uh, really more significant changes in every aspect whether it's designing or whether it's my uh, youtube career selling stuff you know whatever i do in my career and of course i hope to grow more spiritually as well and you know hoping that something happens and just some viral video <laughs> or at least the views increase more rapidly i think the views are increasing but still the subscribers are not increasing very fast so maybe i have to find some other ways to do that you know to somehow find out why it's not increasing faster or make more quirky designs and try to sell it you know just hoping that this is going to be like my year it's 2020 2 and 2 is like 4 and that's my number so lucky number actually i think it's called called life path number also i think so I don't know if it's total birth date का पूरा birth date birth year का uh, calculate करने के बाद I think 
if that is the thing yeah pata nahi but 4 is definitely my lucky number also so hoping that this is going to be something significant and i hope to meet my uh, twin flame this year in person i mean i know who he is i was friends with him and then we don't talk to each other so i'm just hoping that uh, somehow he comes back to india yes he came to india he did not meet me so i hope he realizes things and awakens and i ho- i'm sure it's it's possible that is he's just not accepting if it's his awakening process has started but you know so basically i just want everything <laughs> and i don't know about traveling but i hope i don't want to promise but i hope to travel at least one place i can do it it's just that i don't feel the need to take a vacation now because i don't feel i deserve it honestly <laughs> i just feel i should just work and just grow spiritually and grow in my career and that's all i should do I know that's not the way to live you should have a balanced you know life like you should have a personal life you should have leisure trips and stuff but that's what I am I'm a Taurus and I'm too harsh on myself what was your favorite meme of 2019 I don't know maybe some political theme uh, sorry political meme not really much of a meme person but Oh of course it has to be up chronology samjhiye <laughs> which happened like in December after Amit Shah's speeches and interviews and up chronology samjhiye uske memes you know it's definitely my favorite what was the hardest thing you went through in 2019 definitely health issues like i was reducing weight in the first half and then i think from august i again started putting on weight uh it was initially just like few grams and then it was like since last two months it has been 1 1 kg increase 1 kg 1 kg so i'm really like hoping to reduce more because it's important to lose weight and it's very difficult when you have thyroid even if you exercise even if you try to watch your diet I think uh, more cardio will hopefully help because of course I sit more um for edits and stuff there are times when I might feel lethargic and of course last month uh, my periods were also kind of heavy and um, I had fever and stuff so that time I did not do uh, do exercise otherwise I try to do some form of exercise almost every day except Sundays I avoid and if I do then it's usually just a walk but uh, yeah that's what it is so I think uh, it definitely worries me I haven't still checked my thyroid levels again like which I should do I will be doing it probably by the end of the month or beginning of feb so yeah i need to do that and um, definitely uh, being um, completely not in communication with my twin flame and i think that's that's about it yeah my mom's health is also significantly improved so it's fine oh, of course also dealing with fungal infection oh my god the cases of fungal infection in mumbai has been I mean it has just increased and me and my dad both have been dealing with it and of course uh, I take uh, we are both now taking homeopathy medicines I prefer homeopathy medicines only I don't want to take normal medicines it doesn't suit my body and already I'm putting on weight and I I will just matlab phat jaungi main uh if i take normal medicines so even for fever and stuff i prefer taking homeopathy medicines and it works for me sometimes even in one or two days i'm feeling like better so yeah health wise i definitely feel it should be better soon and um, health is the most important thing guys nothing else matters of course uh, not being able to speak to my twin flame uh, because he has completely shut me out and it really hurts at times because you get these intuitions and you know you get these sort of feelings uh, which you want to ask if he is going through something like that there are times when like now my my throat has been aching since two days and i don't really have cold or anything it's just aching it might be because it was cold really cold since couple of days 
but today it's not and still it has been aching so sometimes uh, when your twin flames throat chakra is blocked it can happen and you know it's it may be that he's wanting to speak to you but he is afraid of something and unfortunately the other twin feels it physically okay even when he's getting intimate with a karmic partner it can affect you physically as well unexplained things so that is the reason i don't date it's not it's not like i'm forcing it it's it's just that i cannot date anyone and also i want to keep my energy pure i don't want to pollute it by getting a karmic partner and stuff anyways i don't feel attracted to anyone but uh, it's just I, I cannot just do things you know organically just for the heck of it that's about last year next question is who what are you most thankful for throughout the last year definitely my doctor <laughs> because he has uh, significantly improved my um, condition with in, when it comes to thyroid i don't feel that much lethargic and uh, tired you know i have my very much a uh, better energy to do things and honestly guys when i was not even aware that i had thyroid and even uh, later when i started taking the medicines there were times when some months i felt like you know throughout the month or 15 days at least it was the same so it affects your work life it affects your normal routine also you don't feel like doing anything you just want to lie down on your bed and uh, honestly just eat sleep that's it so i am definitely thankful for my doctor and um, apart from that i'm definitely thankful to have my parents and uh, my friends <laughs> my subscribers and of course increase in views definitely crossing 1 lakh views and now i don't know how much it is 1 lakh 11000 shayad <laughs> so yeah i'm just glad for everyone so my subscribers my followers my friends and whatever happens you know like whatever is happening whatever will happen i completely want to surrender to the universe <laughs> so yeah just breathing also even though it's not the greatest <laughs> city to breathe uh, even if it's polluted <laughs> but still still thankful to breathe okay what was the funniest thing that happened last year the funniest thing that happened last year was not in my life my conversations with my twin flame have were very funny um as usual whenever we were talking till march okay um apart from that whatever happened uh, miscommunication between narendra modi and amit shah <laughs> because he said ki nrc ki baat hi nahi ho rahi hai modi said and uh, amit shah is already passed um, ca and um, he has explained us the chronology and <laughs> yeah i think that was pretty funny like lying with such confidence in front of all these bhaks whoever jo bhi jama karke leke aaye wo log <laughs> ram leela maidan mein and of course all the news channels the people of this country it's a, it's a skill i would say <laughs> some kind of skill so i think that was really funny what was your favorite series this year when did you release the second season of you Okay yes the second season of you it did release in december right so i enjoyed that then uh, what about grace and franky i don't remember i still did not watch the crown but of course the walking dead it was mm, it was okay i would say i don't know i don't really enjoy it that much and i think the last season of suits also was good yeah so that what else did i watch friends i keep watching friends <laughs> whenever i can't decide something i just watch it and um, fuller house also uska bhi naya season nikla tha mm, that's okay that's like time pass um i still have to watch others if i get time i'll watch it so yeah definitely watch you i love it <laughs> creepy creepy joe What societal events or news stories shocked you this year? Definitely um 
Iraq uh, attacking Americans, you know, uh, the plane which was carrying Americans and Canadians. So, yeah, uh, it did not shock me. It was just like sad. Okay. Um, and of course, whatever has been happening in India uh, regarding the protest about NRC and CA and all these women, you know, leading the protest and uh, Shaheen Bagh and now Lucknow and it is so stupid that I have seen in Lucknow that they are going to eat food and food and the police was like taking it away. So the hashtag was trending, Kambal Chor, UP police. Really disgusting. Yeah, and um, I think uh, it's just bizarre. Yeah? I mean, you're just like going against the constitution and really this whole thing about making this a Hindu Rashtra and all that bullshit. India is an, a country which has been a, a great example of uh, being a secular democratic country. And what kind of message are you sending? I think people must be just, I just hope something happens and you know, the court gives a good verdict and just craps it and doesn't allow this to happen and the UN or Human Rights Commission take up notice of what has, what has been happening because uh, honestly things were really disgusting in UP and uh, the way the police brutality happened and I'm just wondering why nothing is happening. I think the, uh, some lawyers, some good lawyers are fighting the case of, of these young boys, uh, Muslim boys. And um, I just hope they just get not just suspension, but like, you know, they're treated like a criminal. If a rape happens, a rape accused is tried by the court. And the same way the police or whoever has tortured these people, it should happen. I mean, anything was just happening and I'm like, what the hell is happening? And it's not actually covered by mainstream media. Very few, maybe Quint. I'm not sure if NDTV also covered it. But if you read articles about it, foreign media, maybe this is written. So I just hope something happens. Some action is taken. Because shameless uh, people who are sitting in the parliament, they don't care. Okay, Yogi ko itni was, he should resign as a CM, has been trending, people have demanded resignation. He's a shameless, thick-skinned guy. I, I don't know, it's just, kuch bhi ho hai. Pragya Thakur is in the parliament, anything, I mean, anything is happening. So, I just hate the way things are happening. Uh, and honestly, um, I wish I could just leave this country, but itna easy ho ta, toh kap ki chali jati. But it's not financially, it's not possible right now. What are you hoping for less of this coming year? Less hate. I just hope less hate, you know, this hate regarding other religions, other human beings, uh, hate for Dalits. I mean, people are so stupid to fight over these things and think that they are some kind of superior beings. We don't have boss. I mean, one earthquake or one I don't know, some kind of tsunami and tumhari okaat pata chal jayegi. You are nothing, you know. Human beings think ki pata nahi ulo, I don't know, I think they don't even have the fear of God anymore. I don't believe ki you should have fear of God, but I don't know, at least fear karma or something, you know. Uh, fear your parents at least. Uh, I mean, what are the parents even doing? Really shitty parenting going on, I feel. And what are you hoping for more of this coming year? More love. More people coming out on the streets to protest against CA, NRC, NPR. I just hope this government falls in some way. I know it might, it won't happen. It's just wishful thinking. But I really wish some kind of miracle happens. And no wars. Okay, no World War Three and all that bullshit. Less ego and more compassion. What personal goals did you achieve in 2019? I tried to reduce weight in the first half and then again kind of derailed. <laughs> but mostly I think it was really better for me health wise. So I was really focused on that. And um, yeah, and of course I started designing for Teespring. So that is something good because I always wanted to design and you know maybe launch a merch in the future when i have more significant number of subscribers so i think i'm happy 
you know i want to sell more stuff too like some wholesale items on this app i use elanic so yeah what else personal goals yeah i was able to explain to talk about my feelings to my twin flame uh, even though that i don't know <laughs> even though that uh, was a big risk i took but yeah spiritually i don't know if i'm progressing more this year it has not been like i saw i don't think so i saw any visions and stuff i got these crystals you might have seen on instagram and i'm hoping collect more and i cleansed it with sea salt next i might just keep it in the sun after a few days i hope they bring more positivity and luck and help me in meditation especially i get distracted easily so mainly i brought it for that i think my sleep has been very peaceful i keep this amethyst okay uh, while sleeping so it has been pretty peaceful you should not keep quartz uh while sleeping in the bedroom i keep these uh when i go to bed or before that i keep it in the box so that it doesn't affect my dad also so yeah what is your favorite youtube content creator in the last year hmm as in i think you who is your favorite so i would say uh, sejal has sejal kumar has done significantly good i feel her content has improved sherry as always i like the way she is yeah i just like her personality i haven't really been watching a lot of youtube content honestly so sorry <laughs> if whenever i watch it's usually some kind of political news or these two youtubers or something about spirituality so all my stuff if i have to check that's about it what are you or did you do for the new year's eve i just got some um, bakery items and we had that for dinner and by the time it was 10 o'clock we were done with celebrating <laughs> new year's eve and i think i got back to editing or i don't know what i was doing yeah i think i was editing that time so that's it my parents went to sleep probably after 12 ho gaya hamara new years i don't really go out since last couple of years couple of years or a decade <laughs> uh maybe a decade i don't know but honestly i enjoy really quiet new year's eve these days i don't really party and stuff much what was your most memorable new year's moment i think just uh, driving around town area uh, one of the new years with some of my actor friends this was way back uh, probably 2000 eight or seven i don't remember then there was a uh, one in gurgaon some was it gurgaon yeah or i i think it was gurgaon and the lalit hotel if i'm not wrong some five star hotel we went uh, and it was beautiful to just dance away you know for the new years with my ex boyfriend and his friends and stuff So it was nice because I love dancing. So there have been uh, such New Years which have been great, but then I also enjoy uh, the quiet New Years where I'm just working, I'm just editing, or I'm just watching stuff and then going to bed. So that also I enjoy now. Where is your dream city place to celebrate New Years? I want to go to Paris. So yeah, and India me. I think I want to go to. Um, I think. maybe a uh, udaipur palace okay or uh, somewhere in the forest like you know jahan mein bahut zyada greenery ho maybe ya yeah, himachal wagera like i don't know somewhere in the north wow kashmir would be so amazing but so sad whatever is been happening in kashmir do you celebrate new years with a kiss no i don't have a boyfriend so i don't but i have celebrated new years with a kiss when i had boyfriends bara <laughs> bachte hi 10987 in 2020 what are your goals design more clothes items whatever for tea spring make more videos and try to increase subscribers and post more even for instagram you know i've been thinking to post some comedy short videos or dub videos something like that like just do more read more yeah 
I haven't been able to finish the two books I've been reading since last year. So really bad that I did not finish very bad because I wanted to read one book one ek mahine mein at least. So read more definitely. We just end up, you know, uh, watching something or just sleeping <laughs> whenever you're free. And uh, I wish I could read more. I hope I, I'll do that. And yeah, reduce weight it's it's my i don't know it just gives me so much stress <laughs> regarding my health so do more cardio where do you want to travel in 2020 at least in asia somewhere <laughs> or um i don't know i'm just hoping it happens okay because i have to uh, renew my passport and i hope कि एटलीस्ट एक स्टैम्प लगे पुराने पासपोर्ट पे मैं उसको इतना टाल रही हूँ आई जस्ट हेट डूइंग दिस ये ऐसे सब काम गवर्नमेंट के काम सो आई हैव बीन लाइक पोस्टपोनिंग इट वो जनवरी स्टार्ट हुआ तब से मैं सोच रही हूँ आई डू इट प्रॉब्ली दिस वीक हालांकि अब हॉट कि आजकल बहुत ही जल्दी हो जाता है बिकॉज माई फर्स्ट पासपोर्ट को बहुत टाइम लग गया था वो एजेंट के थ्रू था फिर वो पुलिस स्टेशन में जाओ वो सब डॉक्यूमेंट्स दो फिर शाम को जाओ वो देखेगा साइन करेगा अप्रूव करेगा उसके बाद उसके पहले भी एक्चुअली पुलिस वेरिफिकेशन भी होती है सो आई हैव हर्ड दैट रिन्यू करने के लिए इट्स मच बेटर बट आई स्टिल हेट इट आई जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट मीट एनी वन ऑफ दीज पीपल What film are you most excited for in 2020? Uh, abhi 1917 karke ek movie release hui hai war film. I'm really looking forward to that and I I don't know. I'm not really watching a lot of Bollywood films these days so I don't know. Whatever looks good <laughs> I'll watch it. Hollywood ya Bollywood. Yeah, Netflix to hai, which is really making good content. So, what do you think YouTube will be like this year? I hope it is better because of whatever those kya child guidelines and all. Like, I'm not your mommy to mon uh, like to keep tabs on you. Like, parents are supposed to do that. Why are their kids on computer anyways without their supervision? So. एंड जिसको जो देखना है वो यार वो देखेंगे ही सो एंड आई होप दे चेंज दे आर सब्सक्राइबर्स और वो जो भी पॉलिसी है दे शुड जस्ट स्टार्ट अगेन यू नो मोनिटाइजिंग अ कॉन्टेंट या प्लीज नो नो न्यू रूल्स नाउ प्लीज कुछ भी लेके आते हैं पता नहीं वॉट यू थिंक टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी इज द ईयर ऑफ इट्स द ईयर ऑफ ट्रूथ लाइक whatever is happening it's happening so fast i feel you know sabke chehre jo hai asli chehre bahut hi aasani se dikh rahe hain sirf uh, bhakto ko dikhai nahi de raha hai wo but uh, it's like the mask is coming off so fast and i'm just wondering and hoping that kuch galat nahi ho politically i'm really afraid of the atmosphere because पीपल आर लाइक नाउ मतलब उन लोग को कुछ है भी नहीं पछतावा भी नहीं है इट्स लाइक पॉलिटिकली आई एम लाइक रियली लुकिंग फॉर एंड आई होप एवरी वन जस्ट टेक्स ऑफ दैट मास्क एंड आई थिंक इट विल हैपन दैट्स वॉट आई कैन सी फॉर दिस ईयर वॉट आर योर न्यू ईयर्स रेजोल्यूशन माई न्यू ईयर्स रेजोल्यूशन आर टू रीड मोर बुक्स टू डिजाइन मोर स्टाफ फॉर टी स्प्रिंग टू सेल मोर स्टाफ ऑन माई इलानिक ऐप to make more mid videos and uh, to make great content even for instagram and maybe try to travel uh maybe and of course grow spiritually as well so read more about that meditate more stuff like that how are you going to motivate yourself to stick to your goals this year i don't know <laughs> i'll just try to repeat the same thing or keep watching this video to remind myself that see you have to do this you have to do this i think i'll take each day as it comes okay what are your dream scenarios for 2020 what dream scenarios i don't know world peace less ego people living their life authentically as much as possible uh bucks realizing what what their mistake is you know by voting for this present government me in paris with my twin flame or at least alone yeah 
in 2020 what new things do you want to try maybe try cooking something new like new um, cuisine okay not not the usual indian chinese italian pasta pasta so maybe it's japanese but definitely not the non-veg sushi uh veg sushi maybe i want to try that i've been thinking about it uh even vietnamese food um yeah something like that you know like i always stick to the usual so i want to try something new when it comes to food and i don't know i'll try to get out of my comfort zone <laughs> which is very difficult for a taurus but i haven't thought about it okay but if i get a chance like someone is paying me this much money some all expense paid trip to do skydiving i'll definitely jump for for that open opportunity because i want to do skydiving and if someone is sponsoring my trip and paying me money or something you know like challenging and all i'll do it if something like that i'm ready to do it what are you going to stop doing in 2020 thinking negative procrastinating what else i think that's about it i'm not a bad person i'm a good girl three words to describe your upcoming 2020 which is already your upcoming year positive authentic awesome all right so that's it guys i hope you enjoyed watching this video and if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please comment and let me know what are you going to do this year you know and uh, any resolutions or something just let me know in the comments below please share this video with your friends and please subscribe if you're liking my channel my videos thank you to all my subscribers and uh, please ask your family and friends to subscribe as well if you want to check out my last video it's somewhere here until next time it's bye bye for me take care